Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. Uh, my name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice reading for February 25th, 2016. Okay, so we're looking at the overall energies that we're dealing with on February 25th um, and what we need to know in order to um, use these energies for, uh, for our highest good, okay? Okay, so I'm just fixing my microphone. Okay, so um, please remember these are general re uh, readings. Sorry, I've been talking all day. So these are general readings focusing on overall energies that are around us, okay? So they may or may not apply to you or not in the same way as I'm uh, explaining it here. If I'm not giving uh, the example of your particular situation, then try to adapt the energies to see if they actually do or don't apply to your situation, okay? Um, all right, so first card we have, we have the Elder of Swords. And this is the energy of the past, okay? Something in the past that is currently affecting us. And with the energy of the Elder of Swords, in this particular deck, the Elder, which is equivalent to a king, is the highest level you can get to, okay? So it is as much as you can grow, okay, um, ever possible, all right? So once you reach this stage, then there is no more advancement and there is um, no change unless you find a way to pass on the lessons that you have learned to someone else that's coming up the same path that you were on, okay? And so I really feel like in the past you came to almost like to a dead end because you came to a situation or you came at, you know, to the end of a, of a cycle, the end of a phase in your life or the end of a lesson in your life, okay? And it was necessary for you to try a different approach or is necessary for you to speak to someone about it so you can pass on the lessons that you've learned okay in order for you to release that situation from your life okay and be able to move on um so that is in your past that is what is currently affecting you still okay um and so like i said you came to the end of a cycle all right and it was necessary for you to change things in order to move forward all right so this was a situation where you you invested a lot in either time or money or effort or energy or emotions. Um, this may have involved a lot of uh, disappointment, a lot of pain, okay, a lot of energies and fears that have surfaced that you've had to overcome, okay, and that situation that happened simply brought them to the surface for you to experience them again and then find the courage and the strength to overcome them and learn the lesson behind them, okay? Second card we have is the Nine of Swords. And so this is your present situation, okay? Um, this is talking about your anxieties, your fears, um, running the worst case scenarios in your mind over and over again. This is uh, staying up at night or having sleep problems or, you know, stressing out, becoming frustrated, being afraid. Um, but again, the thing with the Nine of Swords, it's this kind of energy, I really feel like this kind of energy is just reminding you that you need to remember what lesson you learned, okay, before you got to this present the lesson that you learned as a result of the past situation okay that situation or that energy or that relationship or that job or career or whatever it was for you that drove you to the brink okay where you have experienced all the emotions possible for someone to experience good and bad mostly bad because it seems like we don't really learn when everything comes together and works out. It's when we feel deep pain and fear and disappointment that we open our eyes and pay attention more, okay? So I guess that's why we get lessons that, 
that you know manifest like that for us in order to in order for us to recognize them and so um, if in your current situation you are dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety and being afraid or being afraid of the unknown for a lot of us okay because we've had changes happening in our lives and they maybe t uh, have taken us in a different direction than expected or a different direction that we've been than we've been in before okay and this may be a change in scenery a change in attitude a change in perspective um, a change in job a change in personal projects or even relationships okay and so you are reminded okay with the nine of swords you are reminded first of all it's not as bad as you think okay because the nine of swords is often you know showing up when we have irrational fears okay when they're not based in reality they're just coming from our our you know deepest fears and our deepest uh, insecurities okay so first of all know that secondly it's not as bad as you think and third you've experienced this before okay in some measure this kind of feeling this kind of energy so remember what happened then okay go back to that life lesson that you've learned either recently or months ago or even years ago what was it that you needed to learn you need to remind yourself of that again okay whether that was you learn that you are strong enough to endure anything you learn that you will do anything for family or you've learned that you are independent and there's nothing you can't handle or you have learned that you don't break that easily or you have learned that all you needed was to believe in yourself and have the courage to stop a situation or walk away from a situation or get yourself into a situation okay it was something different it'll be, it'll be something different for all of you okay because the car that you're going into the future with we have the nine of pentacles okay so that is a very beautiful car that's a very positive car this is a car that is talking about rewards coming in for you for all your hard work and I really feel like this is hard work on a personal level with the nine of pentacles it is the card of the self-made man or the self-made woman and I really feel like you are you know you are who you want to be if you allow your fears to rule you then that is what you are if you will if you conquer your fears if you learn your lessons and move forward confidently then that is who you are that is what defines you okay but with the nine of pentacles you have rewards coming in for you for all your hard work for everything you have endured okay it, it is like things are turning around for you if you manage to remember what is the lesson that you needed to learn so that you don't go back on that path okay you're not meant to once you learn the lesson you're meant to move away from it into better situations into better energy okay you're not meant to stay in that energy okay you've learned the lesson now it's time to make the changes okay that come from learning that lesson so you need to let go of some things you need to remember first of all remember what the lesson applies to the situation that you're in now because you've been in it before if you think back something there's something similar there's something familiar okay about the situation you have experienced this in some part before and you know what to do okay because you know the lesson you've already oh, you've already learned it so have confidence to look at the situation okay really look at it in detail go past your fears okay and look at the situation remember what you need to remember and make the changes because you have the energy of the nine of pentacles coming in for you and this is success progress finances getting better luxury okay focusing on you focusing on your appearance your wardrobe uh, your fitness your health your beauty your hobbies what makes you happy okay that is the kind of energy that is coming in for you okay it's like you're being rewarded for everything you've had to go through but only if you remember the lesson and you apply the changes okay and then the card we have to serve as our advice we have number 10 karmic completion so once again the message is really really strong you are at the end of a cycle in your life you are at the end of a phase okay and you have been in a similar situation before 
alright you know what you need to do you know what you need to overcome you know what you need to let go of okay and you will never experience this kind of pain again you will never experience this kind of difficulties again this kind of strife okay and so that's really really positive with the ten of um, the the oracle card of karmic completion okay it is reassuring you of the fact that it, it is okay for you to make the changes you're guided to make and then enjoy the energy that is coming with it okay the energy of freedom of independence of wellness of of richness okay and you will never have to deal with this kind of um, difficult situation again whether this is dealing with um, toxic people dealing with toxic relationships um, vicious any kind of vicious cycles any kind of addictions okay whatever it is for you I'm sure it will ring a bell when I'm saying these things okay so it is just reminding you that you are done with that okay you're never gonna experience that in your life again because you've learned that lesson and you've outgrown that situation and this is just confirming that alright so you will have a lot of new beginnings coming in alright today you need to focus on doing a review if you will of the situation of what you've learned okay go past your fears don't let it overwhelm you you know what to do okay you have the experience you have the knowledge you know what to do so again remind yourself of that make the changes you need to make whether it's walking away from situations or peoples or, or people or jobs or changing your perspective or changing your attitude okay do what it is that you need to do and then let that go you're done with it okay let it go don't carry it with you anymore because it won't come back to your experience again to your existence okay because you are completing that and it's a karmic completion so you've learned the lesson you've paid the karmic debt okay you've learned the karmic lesson you've paid off the karmic debt and now you're free from it okay so whatever follows after this is beautiful new energy okay but it's really important that you take the time to review where you are what you need to be doing now look at the experience you've had in the past and make the changes that you need to be making and let go of whatever needs to, to go, okay? But I really feel like by the end of the day, a lot of us are going to breathe a sigh of relief. Because we will feel this situation, we will feel this karmic completion. And we will feel the energy that we've been carrying around with us and dealing with and struggling with for months or years. We will feel that energy just lifting from us, okay? Okay, now that's a pretty strong message. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> okay, so um, let me know if it makes sense to you. Let me know if it applies to you um, or what feelings this reading is bringing up for you, okay? Um, and thank you very much again for being here with me and for supporting my channel. And I really do hope you have a beautiful, liberating day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.